Welcome to St. Augustine's School. I'm Pat Schratz. I'm the principal. This is my 12th year here at St. Augustine's, and it is my 32nd year in education. All but three of those years were spent in the Catholic school system, um, and I'm very pleased that we have um, excellent public schools in our area. However, Catholic schools can provide your children with, with something that public schools simply cannot, and that's spiritual formation. We work together with parents to help form the children into disciples of Christ. That is our primary mission. Another part, an equally important part of our mission is educating the whole child. That includes their spirituality, but also their intellect, their emotions, their physical development, their social development. I think one of the strengths of St. Augustine School is we have an outstanding faculty and support staff. Um, all of my teachers are highly competent, and most importantly, are highly um, caring and believe firmly in the potential of each and every student. So the children here at St. Augustine's really do shine, and they do so because they really are nurtured in um, a caring and respectful community that believes in them and holds them to a high standard and then provides um, opportunities for them to be successful and to gain confidence um, over time. Weatherholt and I teach kindergarten. In kindergarten we do a lot of fun and exciting things every day. We start off our day having a morning meeting together and then we jump right into our language arts curriculum. Each day in language arts we do a lot of moving around, we do a lot of songs, and we do a lot of learning. We start by learning the alphabet really really fast and then we go back and we really spend a lot of time on each letter. We do a lot of things with technology even in the classroom even though they're little. At the beginning of the year, I do a lot of modeling. They get a lot of time to practice. And by the end of the year, they can use the interactive whiteboard and the classroom computers all on their own. We also do a lot with science and social studies curriculum. We study the seasons. We study what, what was it like long ago and what's it like today. A great part about the St. Augustine School community is our buddies. In kindergarten, we're paired with fourth grade and eighth grade students. These older students help set a really nice example for the kindergartners who are just coming into our school. 
We do a lot of great activities with our fourth grade buddies, including making a Thanksgiving book and celebrating Thanksgiving at the feast together. Our eighth grade buddy sets such a wonderful example for us. In our math curriculum, we do a lot of hands-on learning. The students get to work with groups or with partners. We do a lot of whole group activities. We do counting every single day, and from there they start doing addition and subtraction and more challenging math so that they're ready for math in first grade. I love being a part of St. Augustine's school because it's a real community. The faculty and staff and family all support each other to make sure that our number one goal is making sure that our students are successful. Being a part of St. Augustine's school makes me proud to be a kindergarten teacher. I'm Miss Opio and I teach fourth grade at St. Augustine School. One of the strengths of our school and one of the things that I love most about teaching here is working with other teachers to differentiate instruction and meet the needs of diverse learners. Additionally, I enjoy working with technology and all our technology is really up to date and the students use it across the curriculum in multiple subjects. I enjoy hands-on and creative projects. Um, I enjoy interacting with the students and I also enjoy experiential learning. One of my goals when I first started teaching was to someday be able to have a school garden where I could take my class out for science, for religion, for social studies, and to make it a project that involved the community and the students and across curricular. And I was able to accomplish this goal at St. Augustine. I worked with some parent volunteers and our principal and our pastor to build a school garden that's 32 feet by 32 feet with 12 beds. Every year um, all the students have been able to plant vegetables and to watch the crops grow and participate in harvesting. So over the summer families sign up to care for the garden week by week and it's been a great community building experience. It, not only is the garden an outdoor classroom for the students, but it also provides cross-curricular opportunities. The students use mathematics when we measure the distance between the seeds when we're planting. They estimate how many tomatoes we've harvested in a day, in a week, in a season. Um, in religion, it teaches them care for God's creation and the beauty and goodness of the earth that he has given us. And in language arts, we journal about the life cycle of plants and we journal our experiences in the garden. I look forward to coming to work every day and I look forward to what I have to learn from the students in addition to what they will learn from me. For 10 points, name this site the Space Needle, the most popular city of Washington. Oh! Hi, I'm Ms. Madeira. I'm the assistant principal here, one of the assistant principals here at St. Augustine's. I'm the eighth grade homeroom teacher, and I also teach all the language arts for middle school. Hi, my name is Mrs. Simpson, and I am the seventh grade homeroom teacher. I teach seventh grade religion. I teach the seventh, eighth, and sixth grade Spanish, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade social studies, and part of sixth grade math. One of the reasons why I would send my child here to St. Augustine's for middle school is because it is such a caring 
faith-filled school. Um, it has a challenging curriculum. We have a wonderful, we have a wonderful Catholic education. Uh, evidenced by all of those things rolled into one is probably one of the main reasons why we won the Blue Ribbon Award this year. I agree. I think that all the teachers try to meet every student's needs. Um, challenging curriculum, we are really big into differentiating instruction and meeting all the students' needs with different projects and essays yep. and um, really making them think and learn. And we're challenging them to, to and preparing them for high school so that they feel very confident when they enter the high school classroom. I think it's, it's important that that application of, of knowledge that they take from book learning or one-on-one -on -one with, with the teacher or with another student that they're working collaboratively is that they can apply that and help them not only have a very strong foundation here in middle school but to make them successful in high school and of course then college and ultimately successful in life. The way we're doing this as teachers to meet the students' needs is continuing to become a better expert in how to teach them, whether it be our material, continuing education, whether it be keeping up with all the technology around us. We are continuing to look for new websites and new technology, how to get the students working and mm -hmm. interested mm -hmm. and, and on their own. So we're not staying from the classroom teaching, they're finding the information themselves. And that's something we continually work on as teachers. I think that's also, it's evidenced by the fact that almost all, almost all of our graduates from St. Augustine's go on to honors classes or AP classes. Mm -hmm. Most of the graduates come back and actually thank us mm -hmm. for um, making them work so hard, in my case, making them write so many journals and um, Mrs. Simpson with writing research papers and making them yeah. go through the steps, you know, the certain formats. They're going to be expected of them in high school and college. I want to do what's best for the students. Yep. What can I do? What's, how, how can I make this better for the students? And I think that's the key of what we're about here at St. Augustine. What's going to make this the best experience for the students so they can prepare for life? I, I actually, I have never been um, within a school as long as I have been. This is my 11th year, year here at St. Augustine's. And the reason why I am is because that Mrs. Schratz has always put the students first. Mm -hmm. And that is huge and it's very hard to find a principal or a headmistress or headmaster that is that dedicated to serve her student population.